So Sarasota, Florida is on your radar of places to move here in Florida. Maybe it's because of the amazing arts and culture that our town provides. Maybe it's because it's been consistently ranked as one of the best places to live in all of the country. Or maybe it's because you and your family have been vacationing here for years. Well, just know that vacationing here and living here full time are two totally different things. So in this video, I wanna tell you maybe where you should live if you're considering moving to Sarasota, Florida. Why so many people are moving to Sarasota what the home prices are like here, and some fun things to do around town. So grab a pen and paper, and let's get into this video. Oh, and if you're new here, my name is Zach Payne, and I'm a born and raised local and realtor here in the Sarasota area. So if you're interested in moving here, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask me any questions about any of these parts of towns that we'll be going over today. So like I mentioned earlier, Sarasota is almost always a top ranked place to live, either in the state or even in the country altogether. And why I feel like so many people love to live in Sarasota is because of its really distinct and unique vibe and lifestyle that it offers. Sarasota is a beach town and it really feels like that. Located on the Gulf Coast of Florida, Sarasota residents enjoy a slower paced lifestyle compared to that of other larger cities nearby like Tampa, Fort Myers, and Naples, just to name a few. But because Sarasota is still less than an hour away, we still are able to enjoy all of the amenities that Tampa provides. Things like concerts, live events, or even a night out on the town are all possibilities with less than an hour commute. If you're asking me personally, I love that I have the ability to take a day trip up to Tampa without having to live in it completely. Every time I go up into Tampa, I realize how different Sarasota's little downtown area is compared to a real city. I mean, even just the traffic and the people in Tampa can just be too much and overwhelming for a lot of people, me included. Living in Sarasota means that you'll have convenient and easy access to so many of the amazing beaches that are provided here, like Anna Maria Island, Siesta Key, Turtle Beach, and Lido Beach, just to name a few, but also have amazing access to the beautiful downtown area that Sarasota also has, and where you can find anything from boutique local shops to family-owned restaurants. And I know people say that Sarasota doesn't have any nightlife, but the tons of people who come out here to enjoy the handful of bars and clubs down here would likely disagree with you. From classy rooftop bars to more casual sports bars and even Irish pubs downtown, Sarasota has something for everyone. But people aren't just moving here because of the bars and pubs, so what else is drawing people to Sarasota? Well, I've heard it described as one of the best cultural places in all of Southwest Florida. With the Sarasota Opera House, the Florida Studio Theater, the Van Wezel Performing Arts Center, Sarasota Art Museum, and tons more, there's no shortage of things to do in Sarasota. For this segment, I wanna break down Sarasota into eight different areas. Each of these areas offer a different lifestyle. Here's how I'm gonna break them down. We have downtown Sarasota. We have west of the trail or Tamiami Trail, North Sarasota, Lakewood Ranch, an area that I like to call the Big Middle, East of I-75, Gulfgate, and finally Palmer Ranch. These eight areas encompass all of Sarasota and really living in some of these areas is night and day from each other. For example, obviously living in downtown, you might be in a high rise luxury condo overlooking the water or Main Street, but living in an area east of I-75, you might be on a farm with 15 to 20 acres of land, raising horses, chickens, and cows. I mean, like Sarasota is quite versatile. I don't think many people realize how many lifestyles there are that are possible here. So starting with downtown, there's very limited single family homes available in this area. So a majority of those who live here are in condos. The lifestyle of downtown Sarasota appeals to those who really enjoy city living. There's events going on weekly downtown. It's a very trendy place to be, but it's also very active and lively. There's always people out and about up here. People living downtown love the proximity to Sarasota Bay. Maybe you have a boat or just wanna be near the water. Well, downtown would be perfect for you. But on the other hand, if you're somebody who's looking for a house and not a condo, then downtown isn't really the right area for you. Right now, there's about 170 homes for sale in the downtown area and condos take up 140 of those listings. Homes downtown on average are about $1.5 million and that'll get you a two bed, three bath, 1800 square foot home. Next up, we have West of the Trail, or West of Tamiami Trail. This area does have single family homes, almost exclusively. It's also a very pricey area of Sarasota to live. It is a very, very sought after for a lot of those same reasons that downtown real estate is. It's a great location. 
Again, those who enjoy water activities, this area is for you. A lot of homes here have their own private boat docks. It's going to have all of the benefits that living less than two miles to downtown is, while also having all of the benefits of not living in downtown. Living west of the trail means increased privacy. Homes here are larger with larger lots, meaning you're not living right on top of your neighbor like some people are here in downtown Sarasota. This area is very popular for wealthy families. A lot of doctors and surgeons who work at Sarasota Memorial Hospital, which is also located west of the trail, live here. West of the Trail is going to have some of the oldest, most historical homes in Sarasota because of this prime real estate. Homes here can date back to the late 1940s. Sadly, however, a lot of these historic homes are being completely torn down and rebuilt from the ground up in more modern styles. And it's, it's understandable that homeowners are seeking more and more protection and better building codes from the newer building homes. The one downside of living west of the trail would be that the threat of hurricanes and flooding are really immense and stronger here than they are in almost anywhere else in Sarasota. I mean, a lot of these home sites sit right on the water. Almost all of the houses are in a flood zone and all of the lots are covered with towering oak trees reaching out over the homes here. With all of that being said, homes west of the trail are expected to be on average $2.26 million and that'll get you 2,600 square feet, three beds, three baths, but home prices can range anywhere from the mid 400,000s and quickly reach the $15 million mark for luxurious waterfront mansions. Now, next up is North Sarasota, and this area is going to include popular areas like the Meadows and Palmaire. Here you'll find both single family homes as well as condos and villas. This area is built older and more around the 70s and up, but I find that the condos built between the 70s and the 90s are almost kind of better built than they are today. Most of the homes built in Palmaire and in the Meadows are built with block, meaning they're more secure during the storm and have much quieter interiors. Both Palmaire and the Meadows are golfing communities and are typically attracted more older and retired crowds, even though they aren't explicitly 55 plus communities. Now, North Sarasota also benefits from close proximity to a lot of the desirable amenities in Sarasota, from University Town Center and the mall located there, and all of the shopping and dining surrounding that area, but also the close proximity to the beaches, downtown Sarasota, and even Lakewood Ranch to its east. Now, that brings us to our next area of Sarasota, Lakewood Ranch. Lakewood Ranch is the number one multi-generational master plan community in the entire United States. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a beautifully thought out community that essentially is its own town. It's got its own main street that acts as a hub for community gatherings and events. It has its own shopping, dining, medical centers, and it definitely doesn't lack in places to live. Whether you're looking for resale or new construction, Lakewood Ranch has got it. New neighborhoods continue to pop up as it expands further north and east into Bradenton and Manatee counties. Neighborhoods in Lakewood Ranch almost exclusively have access to tons of amenities for their residents, from clubhouses to pools, sports courts, private restaurants even. Lakewood Ranch is a very attractive community and a place to live, and it's very family oriented. And this is big, but it's pretty far away from Sarasota. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, some neighborhoods in Lakewood Ranch are almost 30 miles to Siesta Key Beach or 20 miles to downtown Sarasota. So who are the people who enjoy living here? Well, this area is great for families or anybody who enjoys being social and gathering with the community. People who want new construction options, those who don't mind the potential hour drive to the beach or is even okay with maybe just hanging out by the beautiful community pools instead. People who value amenity rich neighborhoods where paying the HOA fee and CDD fee is understandable and just kind of the cost of living. Majority of these communities in Lakewood Ranch are HOA maintained. But for those reasons though, many people find that Lakewood Ranch just doesn't fit for them. Homes in Lakewood Ranch typically range from anywhere between 650,000 to a million dollars plus. And the average home for sale is right around $900,000 according to all active listings in Lakewood Ranch today. Now, if you're looking for a part of town that just exudes true Sarasota lifestyle, stick around because that area is coming up. Now, next up is the big middle. This area of Sarasota is where you're going to find your most affordable homes. A lot of the neighborhoods in this area don't have HOAs ruling over them. But for the same reason, a lot of the neighborhoods in this area can look something like this.
Some streets look beautiful and well-maintained, and then you turn the corner and homes look abandoned with junk thrown in the yard and overgrown trees and bushes. Like its name, Central Sarasota is located near everything, from beaches to downtown, to activities going on in Lakewood Ranch are only a short drive away. Homes in Central Sarasota are mostly older and therefore a lot of them need a bit of remodeling just to bring them up to the 2024 design standards. With that being said, Central Sarasota is a huge area and not all of it is created equal. This area is great for younger families, for first time home buyers, and those with a smaller budget as this area is the most affordable area you can find single family homes in. People who may want new construction or amenity rich neighborhoods won't find what they're looking for in Central Sarasota. The median homes in Central Sarasota right now is around $480,000 with an average of $740,000. Remember, this area is huge, so you can obviously find homes above that range and below it. Now the next area is east of I-75, and this area is the biggest on my list of places to live in Sarasota. East of I-75 is where you're gonna find your acreage homes. This is the place where you can spread out, raise cows, chickens, drive four wheelers, and not be bothered by your neighbors. Most of the homes east of 75 don't have HOAs either. You can find single family homes as well as a few condominiums in some of the country club neighborhoods. East of 75 actually has four golf course slash country club communities to choose from, like Saranoa, Heritage to Jokes, Bentry, and Laurel Oaks. East of I-75 is definitely an up and coming area as developers move further and further east into Sarasota. You can find new construction in this area as well. Popular communities like Artistry and Sky Ranch will be building out there for the next few years, and I expect more new construction to head that way as time progresses. I believe Sky Ranch is actually the closest new construction community in Sarasota to both Siesta Key and downtown, being only 11 and 14 miles respectively. People who want to live close to Sarasota, but outside of all of the hustle and bustle, really enjoy this area. And those who want acreage, this is the only place to get it as well. Gulfgate is the epitome of Sarasota living. This area is the closest and most affordable area to Siesta Key, and that's what attracts so many people. Gulfgate was built in the mid 70s, and homes reflect that with these cool designs of different roof lines that we're not typically used to seeing in more modern homes, and even octagonal windows. Gulfgate really gives off a slow coastal vibe, not to mention it has its own downtown area with two streets full of some of the best cuisine you can find in Sarasota. You've got local and family owned restaurants, you've got small grocery stores and even funky shopping stores. Gulfgate's got it all. The median home price in Gulfgate is right around $459,000 today and that's for a two bedroom, two bathroom, 1500 square foot home. Now the average listed home in Gulfgate is right around 500K and that's for a three bed, two bath, 1700 square foot home. Now people who love Gulfgate are those who can see themselves being at the beach often. Those who may not mind updating these homes or don't mind living in a 70s time capsule because let's be honest, a lot of these homes haven't seen cosmetic updates since they were built. And finally, first time home buyers and younger families. Gulfgate provides smaller homes and most aren't regulated by an HOA. That means that they are more affordable homes like I mentioned earlier. Palmer Ranch is a residential area in the southern central part of Sarasota. It contains both new construction and resale homes. It too offers close proximity to the beach and downtown. I find that families love this location because it's so close to some of the top rated and most desirable schools in Sarasota County, but also because these neighborhoods here have such amazing amenities that can pull the whole family out of the house on the weekends. It's also located to some of the great outdoor locations like Potter Park and the Legacy Trail. Palmer Ranch offers a mix of all housing types from large estate homes to villas and condos. The median home for sale in Palmer Ranch is a three bedroom, two bathroom, 1800 square foot home for right around $550,000, with the average being slightly higher at 628K. This is probably one of the most common questions I get asked by clients, and rightly so. After the tragedy of the Surfside condo collapse in Miami, Florida, along with the back-to-back -back Category 5 and 4 hurricanes we faced, as well as what insurance companies like to call replacement cost increases, insurance companies have decided that if they're going to stay in Florida, there needs to be a change. So much of a change that homeowners were seeing their annual premiums double, and in some instances even triple. The thing with insurance is that it's case dependent. There's many factors that go into why insurance companies charge what they do. 
So let me give you some of the biggest things that I see that help insurance. Firstly is the age of the home. The newer, the better. Newer homes are built to the latest safety codes. If you can't or don't want a new construction home, the next best thing is prior to 2002 with those building codes. Secondly is the age of the roof. Is the roof strapped to the trusses of the house? What about the glass? Are the windows and doors impact? If not, does it have impact shutters? Does the home qualify for wind mitigation? Where is the home located? What is the size of the house? What is the evaluated cost of the home? See, there's a lot of things that go into the insurance process, and unless you're looking at specific homes, it's hard to get an idea of what numbers would actually be like. Because even the same home, in the same neighborhood, built the same year, but one with a 20-year-old roof and one with a one-year-old roof will have different insurance costs. All right, so for this part of the video, I thought it'd be fun to bring out my girlfriend and talk about some fun things that we like to do together as a couple. One of my favorite things that we do together as a couple is grabbing coffee probably once a week at Project Coffee downtown. But yeah, there's also Buddy Brew. Buddy Brew is a good one. There's so many coffee shops around here. You've got ONA, Buddy Brew, Project Coffee. Um, I mean, there's really just a ton of different places to choose from. And they're all so cute, like decorated. There's so many people who go and just sit out there and work from home or just kind of hang out. So that's a pretty fun thing to do. The Ringling Bridge is fun. You can go fishing underneath the Ringling Bridge, which we do sometimes. Yeah, Ringling Bridge is beautiful. Or like if you just want to be active and like take a walk, you can walk it. It's a mile and a half there and back. So there's a ton of people that are always walking, jogging, or biking that bridge. It has got the most beautiful view you know, looking over downtown Sarasota. Sunset. Yeah, it's such a pretty thing to do. But also the beach. Yeah. We love walking the beach. Yeah, Siesta Key Village is one of my favorite things. Yeah, walking walk downtown Siesta Key Village is so fun. There's, everyone's just wearing like sandals and flip flops and it's, it's just such, beach, yeah, beach super town. beachy vibe right over there. Oh, there's a public pickleball court in Siesta Key. Pickleball. Which we really enjoy. Pickleball is huge in Sarasota. There's so many, people who are just now finding out about it, that you can go to any pickleball court and there's tons of people out playing it at any time of yeah, day, morning to night. Yeah, very packed and busy and yeah. you can always find somebody to play with. Yeah. But when it gets a little bit later at night, sometimes we like to grab a drink downtown. What's one of your favorite bars down yeah, here? Yeah, I would say on Main Street, Molly's is my favorite. Yeah, like the Irish Molly's, pub. Molly's, Smoke and Joe's, there's yeah. an Eddie's downtown on Main Street. Yeah. Some they good bars. Have games on. Yeah. People say people say that there's no bars downtown, there's no nightlife, but I think we've seen differently, right? There's a bunch there's a bunch of stuff to do downtown. What about what about for shopping? Where are some places you like to shop at? I know you're a shopper. UTC is my favorite. Yeah, the mall. Yep. UTC mall. Yep, Target, Ulta, yeah. Sephora, a bunch of different things right in the same. Yeah, well there's area. the there's the mall, but then there's yep. like a ton of different shops outside of that, so yeah. it's not just the mall, right? Plenty of restaurants, so if you shop, you can go eat afterwards. They plan that out pretty well. In the same spot, walking distance. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So it's like, if you, even if you didn't want to shop there, which, I mean, you'd find plenty of options of stores in the mall, but even if you didn't or you wanted more, there's like Dick's Outlet yeah. Store, there's an REI down there, there's, yeah, like, is it Ulta that's out there now? Yeah, there's a Golf Galaxy. The golf store, Target's out there. And that's yeah, Marshalls and TJ Maxx right across the street. That's and right. Boss. Yeah. And that's all separate from UTC from Mall. The mall, yep. That's right. Oh, so like one of the little secret spots that I hate to be telling you guys this, but I will. This is one of me and Cammy's secret local spots we love to go to is Evie's. Evie's Sports Bar. Yep, on B Ridge. On B Ridge yep. Road. It is, they've got the best pizza probably in all of Sarasota. My yeah. And they also have like a driving range, a putt-putt course. There's an outdoor tiki sports bar. It's just an awesome a place to hang out. A food menu, so it's not just pizza. Yeah, it's not just, um, yep. it's not just like reasonably, bar drinks. Reasonably plate priced drinks, yeah. cheap uh, golf. Yes. And yeah. a mini golf course. So it's like it's, family, just a couple going on a date. It's perfect for really anyone. Yeah, super family oriented. Yeah. What are some other like, local only things that like not other people would know about. Cause like obviously there's a touristy parts of Sarasota that are like, like the, the village, downtown, and like St. Armand Circle. Those are like the main Gulf Gate. 
Oh yeah. We're excited. Yeah. Me and Cammie are super excited to check out the new Big Top Brewery that's going on. In, uh, yeah, right on Fruitville. Yeah, east of Fruitville Road. Yep, east of Fruitville, new Big Top Brewery. It's gonna have like a ton of outdoor seating. Yep. So like a, it's a, a large turf with turf a area. bunch of seating. Probably fit about 100, 200 people outside. A lot of people, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're excited to go check that out when it finally does open. When it finally opens. We don't know when it's gonna open exactly yet. Could be open by the time this video is posted, who knows? Yeah. Or um, Golfgate, how about Golfgate? I yeah, think there's Golfgate's, some fun bars down there. Golfgate's another hidden gem that I like a lot that not a lot of people appreciate or go to. Yes, it's very, it's super easy to overlook Golfgate because you've got downtown, you've got Siesta Key Beach, but Golfgate's probably only, what, less than a mile away from Siesta Key Beach, and you can go there and get some drinks for relatively there's cheap a, compared to like on the key. There's a boba tea shop where they do an open mic a couple nights a week. Really? Which is really cool. Yep. They have like indoor seating and free games that you can play. Yeah. Um, a couple different pizza shops. Yeah, lot, lots yeah. of local restaurants. Some pet stores. Yes, and, it's uh, not a lot bars. of not a lot of chain places. It's all kind yep. of like family. It's all family yeah, locally operated family, um, businesses. So it's a super cool place that yeah. if you're in Sarasota and you want to check it out, and the housing in Golfgate area is also like really funky. As a real estate agent, I always love to talk about housing. But yeah, Golfgate's you know built in the 70s, late 60s. So you've got a lot of these like really funky old homes there that are like totally separate from a lot of the other Sarasota real estate around. And yeah. they're, they're really cool houses. So if you're in Sarasota, you should definitely check out that area. Well, Kimmy, thank you for uh, hopping on the video with me and talking yeah. about some things we like to do. Thank you for having me. Of course.